In today's video, we are ranking every Marvel skin in Fortnite. If you enjoy this video, be sure to drop a like and subscribe. Use code ToonSpider in the Fortnite item shop to support me. Make sure you drop a follow on my Twitch channel and let's get to ranking. I'll tell you right now, I am super excited to do this Marvel tier list. I am a huge Marvel fan. I have been since I was a kid. I grew up with the 90s Spider-Man cartoon. I absolutely love the MCU movies. I'm a huge Marvel comic book nerd. So this tier list just feels a little like extra special. So we're starting off with Black Widow. This is the OG Black Widow skin too. She's for sure going in S. They did such a great job. Very comic accurate. I absolutely love the details on this skin. Now we have Star-Lord. I'm going to be putting Star-Lord in B. This was a little bit of a miss. I still liked it when it came out, but it hasn't aged well. I feel like there's some different looks they could have given Star-Lord. I also feel like they could have given us another Star-Lord skin when Guardians of the Galaxy 3 dropped. Up next is Deadpool. The Merc with the mouth for sure going in S+. Plus. I mean, when he came into the game, he had his own yacht. He had his own mythic dual pistols. This skin is so good. It is so accurate. I love the double katana back bling. And I absolutely cannot wait for Deadpool and Wolverine to come out this summer. Up next is Cable. Now, Cable is super accurate to the comics. I mean, they did a really good job with this skin, but I got to put it in C because it's just too big. Like, it's just too big to wear. You stick out everywhere. But I'm going to give it its props. It did do a very comic accurate suit. Up next, we got Domino. Domino is another just clean skin. Very simple, but very comic accurate. She's going in S. Up next is Psylocke. Psylocke is low-key bad, but she's going in S as well. I also love her pickaxe in the game. Her pickaxe in the game is so good. But again, the purple tight suit, just super comic accurate. I like the purple hair. I love the purple katana. I just feel that they overall did really well with this skin. Now, up next is Ravenpool and Cuddlepool. I'm going to be putting these in B. I mean, realistically, the Fortnite Deadpool, like, remix skin collab Deadpool is that skin that you can get away with doing that to where it actually kind of makes sense. And I do think they look really good, but I, did, I don't think they're amazing or marvelous or anything like that. I think they're just solid. Captain America. Yeah, Cap's going to be going in A. I mean, he doesn't have the coolest looking suit or anything. I kind of wish they gave him his stealth suit. That would have been sick. But I got to put it in A for comic accuracy and it is a clean skin. And next to him, I'm going to be putting Thor. I love the lightning eyes. Like that is just such a good touch for this skin. And I want to just point out, like I know Deadpool and Thor, they've been in battle passes. I just want to point out, like I feel bad for anybody that like can't get these some of these Marvel skins that were in battle passes. Like, like, I really hope they eventually like just sell these battle passes, especially battle passes that have collab skins. Jennifer Walters, I'm going to be putting an S. This is just another clean skin. Like they did a really good job with the lawyer look. And then they did a really good job with the She-Hulk look. Groot is another one. He's going in S. I feel like there's going to be... A <laughs> There's going to be a lot of S's, I feel like, in this tier list. A lot of S's and a lot of S pluses. I don't know. But they killed it with the Groot one. His Mythic in Chapter 2 Season 4 was so fun to use, too. And again, we're going with Storm in S. I love the white suit. The white suit is so clean. I think they did a really good job with her hair. And the hint of gold is also really well done in this skin. Doctor Doom. Doctor Doom is going to be, like, the top of A. I love that he had his own location. Also super accurate. But I just wouldn't have him with the S's and S pluses. Mystique is going S+. Plus. The skin they use for is super comic accurate for the like the X-Men Black comic series. The ability to be able to change into a skin that you just eliminated automatically puts this at the top tier. Now I just wish they would have given us like that just that all blue look, you know what I mean? So next up is going to be Tony Stark Iron Man. He's going S+. Plus. I mean, he can't be anywhere else but S+. Plus. That's the go right there. That's Tony Stark. Wolverine, he's going S. The Wolverine suit in Fortnite is a very comic accurate look. I absolutely love it. I love that he was like the bonus skin in that Marvel Battle Pass. And I just got to say, the Marvel Fortnite skins, a lot of comic accuracy here with the suits, and I absolutely love it. Silver Surfer, I'm going to be putting an A. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's comic accurate, but there's just not much to Silver Surfer. But I still love the skin, and I love the Silver Surfboard. Like, I, I use that glider all the time. Venom, I'm going to be putting in B. This is one of the better looks for Venom, but the skin is just not for me. And I just want to clarify too, if like, if there's some skins I put on the lower tier that you absolutely love, like that's awesome for you. Just not everyone's going to have the same taste. Ghost Rider is going to S though. This skin is fire. The pickaxes are fire. The motorcycles fire. Everything about like his bundle is so good. Literally fire. DD Daredevil definitely going S plus. I absolutely love the suit. I hope we can see that suit like in a TV show or a movie soon. Blade is going to be going in A. Overall, I just like his look and I really like his pickaxe as well. Black Widow, the snow suit is going to be going in A as well. It's not as good 
as the original suit i still really liked it because i enjoyed like that black widow movie but if i have to pick between the two i'm going with that og the black and red black panther the king of wakanda baby going s plus can't go anywhere else but s plus that's the king also i love that they gave him his cape i love that you can have it on or off and i also love that they gave like the kinetic energy in the suit as well so you can have like that black and purple look okay so up next is captain marvel and even if you don't like her i personally like her her comics have been really good the past few years but it's going s that skin is so clean this the way they did her suit is perfection in this game definitely going in s taskmaster another one that's going in like the top of a such a good comic accuracy and i know i'm saying that a lot but fortnite really did a good job with the comic looks and i mean taskmaster is just awesome in general so net up next is ant-man he's going in a they did a really good job with the skin i wish you could have shrunk them i know that's like a competitive advantage and the skins aren't supposed to do that but being able to shrink them to ant size would have been hilarious loki is going in s I mean, it's the god of mischief. I love his helmet and the skin just overall looks really clean. Thanos, this dude snapped half of life away. I don't know where to put the big purple Titan. Like I'm thinking B or I'm also thinking A, but I, I kind of want to put A just because like the mode from the OG like chapter one days was so good. You know what? Just because he, he's a top tier villain, he's going A. Plus his suit, it, it's super comic accurate. It looks really good. Gamora, I'm going to be putting Gamora in B. I mean, they did a good job with the skin, but I don't, I don't know. There's just something about it that I don't, I don't love about it. It's just solid. And just to be clear, B, the B tier is solid. And that's where Shang-Chi is going. Shang-Chi is going in B. I've honestly never seen anybody in game wearing the Shang-Chi skin. I'm not going to lie to you. I love the movie though. And I like the character, but the skin is just not for me. Carnage. Carnage is going in B as well. He's going right there with Venom. I just want to be clear. I didn't like either of their mythics, by the way. I know they were popular, but I wasn't a fan of them, usually because they wrecked me. But both Venom and Carnage have very comic accurate looks in Fortnite. The skins just aren't for me though, but I could see why people would have them in like S plus or S. Eddie Brock, he's going in C. I mean, he's just wearing a Letterman jacket. He's like that guy that graduated high school that just continues to wear that Letterman jacket for no reason. Nick Fury, the skin is simple and like realistically, maybe he should be in B, but it's Nick Fury, he's going in A. Phoenix is going in S, Jean Grey. I absolutely love the skin, but I rushed that a little because up next is the GOAT. Spider-Man, top of S plus greatest skin of all time, greatest Marvel character of all time, greatest superhero of all time. They made like the most comic accurate suit in a video game out of like all of the Spider-Man suits that we've ever had in any video game. They absolutely nailed it. And as you can tell, I am a big Spider-Man fan. There's a big six foot Spider-Man standing right there. I got a Spider-Man canvas right there. I got Spider-Man for my phone cover. I got this Spider-Man Funko Pop. This is the No Way Home suit at the end that red and that shiny blue that he makes it's so sick and i have hundreds of spider-man comics he's been my favorite since the 90s spider-man cartoon he's the goat gambit is going in s i love gambit he is so hilarious and he's so awesome and they made they did such a good job with his skin and i'm so happy about it also going right next to him is gonna be rogue i gotta put the lovers together they're one of the best marvel couples especially one of the most like underrated couples as well so we got another spider-man skin i mean i love me some tom holland especially as spider-man and i love his red and black suit in the movies and far from home and in no way home for majority of the movie overall the skin is so good in game as well up next is zendaya's mj now don't get me wrong zendaya is awesome but the skin is just it's got to go and see it's just very simple it's not for me up next is clint barton's hawkeye i love hawkeye he's one of my all-time favorite marvel characters if you ever get the chance to read old man hawkeye i highly suggest that comic series and i love that in endgame he became ronin i wish we would have gotten a ronin skin that would have been so sick but he's gonna go in a but kate bishop is going in s i think they did a great job with her skin and i'm a big kate bishop fan in a is gonna be the green goblin the greatest spider-man villain of all time they made him super accurate as well they actually made him look like the goblin which is just awesome His his glider is freaking perfect in the game. He has a fun emote with the pumpkin bomb. Overall, they just did an incredible job with him. Up next is another one going in S+, one of my top three Marvel characters, Moon Knight. I'm, now I know they did the like MCU TV version of his suit, but it looks so clean. Both the Moon Knight and the Mr. Knight version. I absolutely love this skin. Going in B is going to be Mary Jane. This is the comic accurate Mary Jane. And I like that they brought her in. She's going in B. She's super simple. Doctor Strange is going in S. They did an incredible job with his skin his pickaxe and glider is awesome as well up next is prowler prowler is going in a as well <laughs> both purple and green i love it 
they did a really good job with his skin i was a big fan of it he was actually in the same battle pass as dr strange see that's what i'm saying is like so many people that didn't get a play when that season came out like missed out on so many great marvel skins i feel bad i i'm really hoping they release them or like a version of them in the item shop uh that would be I think that would be fair to everybody. Scarlet Witch, I'm gonna be putting an A. They did a really good job with their skin. They definitely used the multiverse of madness look, which I like that look a lot. Spider-Man Zero. Now I know I just like a couple minutes ago, I just praised Spider-Man. I mean, he is my all-time favorite. I have to be honest when I don't like something and I, I don't like this Spider-Man Zero skin at all. It I don't like it. I'm not a fan of the weird armor. I feel like it makes the skin look kind of clunky. I don't really like the eyes either. I feel like this skin would have been better though if they just didn't use the armor. Also going in D is gonna be the Hulkbuster. Now I love the Hulkbuster in Age of Ultron when Iron Man in the Hulkbuster suit and Hulk like face off. But like realistically, I'm like, I'm never gonna wear that skin. I'm never gonna buy it. I don't like it. Another one I'm not gonna wear is Wolverine Zero. Now I know those are the crew pack skin, but again, it, it's just not really for me at all. And again, if you love these skins, that's awesome. Like I'm, I'm happy for you. They're just not for me. Up next, we have Thor from his Love and Thunder look. And I actually like this one more or just as much as the one from the Battle Pass. So I'm going to be putting this in A as well. And then up next, we have Jane Foster's Lady Thor. She's going right next to Odin's son. I think they did a really good job with her look from the movie and from the comics. And that's why it's going in A. X-23 is for sure going in S. She has the little toe claws. I don't know if you've ever noticed that, like when she's jumping around and stuff. But the little toe claws come out and I absolutely love that detail. I also really like her suit. And I just, Laura Kinney is an awesome character, so she's got to be S. I mean, don't get me wrong, all of these characters are awesome. But up next is Spider Gwen, who's also an awesome character, and she's going to S plus because they did an incredible job with her suit. I like that they kind of gave her like the comic look, but also like an Into the Spider Verse kind of animation. Uh, the Bright Bomber Captain America. It's going in C. I mean, it's kind of cool. Don't get me wrong. I kind of like it. It's just one of those like weird remix skins between a Marvel and a Fortnite skin, and it's not really for me. Up next is Sam Wilson's Captain America. And he's going to be going A. I really like the white and blue with the red goggles. I really like his look. I think I might actually like it more than Steve Rogers' Captain America look. Plus, he gets the wings too, which is sick. But I'm telling you, for Captain America, they should have brought in that stealth suit. In C, I'm going to be putting Hulk. Like, what's up with this photo? Why does it look like that? Like, don't get me wrong. I love Hulk, but not as a Fortnite skin. In S+, Plus is going Miles Morales' Spider-Man. I mean, they absolutely killed it with that skin. It looks so good. Shaped a little weird, I'm not gonna lie, but overall, a really clean and great skin. Speaking of shaped weird, uh, up next, we got Spider-Man 2099. Miguel's butt looks really weird in the game, but I'm not gonna let me distract it from the fact that it looks also super clean overall, that red and blue. So he's going in S. Now we got the last Marvel bundle. Some other Guardians characters. We got Drax. Drax is going in C. Just kind of looks weird. I'm not going to lie to you. Then up next is Mantis. She's going to be going in B. I really like her skin. It's solid. But I'm not going to spend $30 to get it. That's for sure. And then up next is Young Adult Groot. Also, they did a really good job with this one. Very solid. Going in B as well. And that concludes my Marvel tier list. Let me know your favorite Marvel Fortnite skins in the comments. Let me know what you think about my list because that's always the fun part of this. Be sure to check out my other tier list videos and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Peace!